Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Wana Udo. Every week I share content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. So before we jump right in, I just want to have a little disclaimer. I am not a tax professional. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a regular guy on YouTube sharing some great information based on my life experiences and also what I'm doing to get myself to the next level. So now that we have that out of the way, Let's jump right in. So today's topic, you know, is you are responsible for your personal finance. Unfortunately, most people don't want to hear this, but um, it all comes down to you. You are responsible for your personal finance. And why do I say that? Well, unfortunately, we don't learn how to manage our personal finance, whether in schools or at home. Our parents don't teach us that, or most parents don't teach their kids that. And I have been at fault as well, not educating my kids on the impact, you know, on your personal finance, if you don't take care of your personal finance. So I'm still in the process of getting my personal finance to the next level, but I just wanted to share this video because um, it's a, it's a well needed, uh, you know, video and topic to discuss because everything revolves around your personal life, your personal finance. You should treat your personal finance like a business. So, here are some steps that you can take, okay, um, to get your personal finance to the next level, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now to get myself to the next level. So, number one, you have to make a decision. You have to decide that you want to take charge of your personal finance. No beating about the bush. You have to sit down and you have to figure out how you want to handle your personal finance. So it all starts with number one, you have to make that decision. If you're sick and tired of where you are right now in terms of your personal finance, then now is the time for you to um, get with the program and make that decision. Number two, you want to live by a budget. Most successful people live by a budget. What a budget does is a budget ensures that you're not spending too much, you're living within your means. So every, every expense that you have is accounted for. Unfortunately, most of us don't live by a budget. We are impulsive, you know, spenders and shoppers. So, you know, we get our paycheck or we get some income coming in. And the next thing we do, we're at the mall shopping or online. It's very easy today to get in trouble just shopping, you know, with availability of credit and also the ease at which people can shop. And that's what happens to most of us. We don't live by a budget. So number two, you have to live by a budget. I'm not saying a budget is all there is to it, but at least if you have a budget, a budget gives you some structure. Without structure, you're gonna be in trouble. You're gonna be struggling. So number two, you wanna live by a budget. Number three, you wanna increase your income. It all comes down to your income. You have to increase your income. I know so many videos out there are always talking about you know cut your expenses cut your expenses minimize your expense I know you have to do that but at the same time nobody talks about the income piece you have to increase your income and how do you increase your income you can start a business you can pick up a part-time job you can you have to find a way to increase how much money comes into your household so number three you have to increase your income and I have lots of resources down in the links below on what you can do to increase your income and you can go online you can go on YouTube there are other resources out there that can give you ideas on how you can increase your income okay next one you have to decrease your expenses yes I know I'm almost contradicting myself but you have to increase your income first and then you have to decrease or maintain your expenses at the low level which will ultimately um, create more cash flow for you to be able to invest in assets so which brings us to the next topic which is you have to increase your asset base so you want to invest your money in income producing assets that will churn out more cash flow for you and will help you to acquire more assets and then number six you want to make sure that you decrease your liabilities so because you're increasing your income does not mean you have to go ahead and increase your liabilities so you want to make sure that you keep your liabilities on the check all right and then number seven 
you want to increase your cash flow which i already mentioned earlier so what i just mentioned right now has to do with your personal financial statement so if the personal financial statement has an income piece it has an expense area you have your asset column and then you have your liability column so that's all part of your financial statement so if you don't know how to set one up there are lots of resources online that you can you know uh, check out that can help you with this um, so that's basically why I said you are responsible for your personal finance because no one's gonna do it for you you have to do it yourself if you're waiting for someone to do it for you then you're wasting your time so you have to take charge of your personal finance and get yourself to the next level so if you like my content if you like my channel make sure you smash that thumbs up button for this video and also remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so YouTube will notify you of my latest videos. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. The channel is slowly growing. Um, don't forget to leave comments for me. You know, I, I like to read your comments and I also respond to every single comment that uh, my subscribers leave. So share this video with people that you think might benefit from it. And I really appreciate all your support and your feedback and your comments and make sure you watch the next video coming up it definitely contains information that you'll find valuable okay thank you and i'll catch you in my next video bye bye